All right, 14 days prior to my valve replacement surgery. I had intended to make more videos along the way, but life happened and just kind of got away from me. So going forward, my plan is to make this video to kind of explain what's been going on the last couple months since the last video leading up to now. And then uh, I have a my pre-admission testing as well as just meeting with the surgeon next week and the uh, last scans and everything like that will be uh, one week from today. So I'll make a video talking about what that process was like. And then uh, on the following Monday, so five days before my surgery, I will be having an appointment with my general practitioner just to keep him up to speed on what's going on since he's in town and, and will be involved in this whole process. Um, I think the biggest thing that just to to talk about what's happened since day 69 is health-wise I felt great um, really no issues with anything fatigue has definitely been a bigger piece of what life has been but uh, since then I've just let myself have that and so if I needed to, to lay down and take a break I can do that and don't feel very bad about it I guess you'd say uh, there's been a lot of processing and dealing with the reality of what's going to happen uh, from little things like filling out the paperwork for leave for my job and making sure that my boss is aware and we, we talk through you know projects that I'm working on and, and those types of things uh, trying to get things in line at home to make it a little bit easier for recovery for my family uh, so and, and post you know, in recovery when I go back to work I'll be working from home so did some improvements on my home office and, and put up another wall and a door so that way I can have a little bit more of a quiet space. So those types of things have been happening, plus we've just been doing lots of family activities uh, to take advantage of the summer. So we've been to the mountains, we've been to multiple baseball games and soccer games, just hanging out with the kids and, and doing different activities that while we have the opportunity now before, you know, the the month two six months whatever recovery will look like for me uh, and while the kids you're not busy with school and those types of things so that's what's really been taking most of my time uh, I would say the biggest thing outside of that has probably been um, the opportunity I had last week I'm sorry I just bumped the camera so last Friday uh, which was three weeks from my surgery um, I was able to go to the Artivion headquarters uh, which is 35 minutes from my house, which is uh, an amazing small world. So Artivion is the maker of the Onyx valve, which I'll be uh, receiving. So I, I actually have a friend who works uh, for Artivion and uh, does medical device sales and actually works more on the uh, allograph side and the, and the human valve uh, side. But through him, I also know the, the person who sells the Onyx in the area as well. And so they you know, they told me, hey, we have a, a surgeon training coming up where we're actually uh, bringing surgeons in from, from different places across the country and North America to the headquarters, and, and they will have three days of training, but the last day is going to be around the Onyx Valve. And they said, you are more than welcome to come, which I thought was a really cool experience, and for me, uh, very helpful to go see. So last Friday, I, I showed up at 7 a.m., and I met there were six surgeons that were there from uh, different parts of Canada actually um, but they, they had been doing surgeries already so they weren't brand new in training but they were just getting continuing education so they had spent time uh, going over things like the Ross procedure and uh, and different types of uh, uh, you know, tissue type of valves but also really then on the last day focusing on the onyx and the um, mechanical valves side so Dr. Barnhart, uh, who's a retired surgeon out of uh, Seattle, was there to do the classroom learning part as well as the lab uh, piece of it. And so we had a couple hours of just, you know, Dr. Barnhart talking to the surgeons to help them understand the data behind valve choice between a mechanical valve versus uh, a tissue like a bovine or porcine valve the different things that go into that decision, how to help your their patients make those decisions, as well as lots of research and data that goes on. And then on top of that, then showing the uh, benefits of the onyx valve over some of the other mechanical valves. So that was very interesting, 
uh, get to sit and listen to questions and, and, and hear experts in the field talk about it. And again, I think that was uh, incredibly beneficial. And then we moved into, or I say we, the, the surgeons moved into their lab portion where we moved into uh, the lab and they had uh, cadaver hearts to actually do some of the procedure on as far as making sure the onyx valve was seated properly and different techniques for sewing it in and closing it up and also for the onyx with the ascending aorta attached uh, and, and uh, the coronaries and all the things that go with it. And it was such a cool experience to have. Uh, everyone there was great. I've, I've met multiple people in the sales and, and technology division of Artevion and they were all uh, amazing people and, and were uh, so helpful to me, gave me as much information as possible. They walked me through different stuff. They, they you know, broke me off to the side and showed benefits and, and success stories and all of those things uh, that I could find, but the, the ability to do that in person was pretty awesome. And so, uh, and then you know, the surgeons themselves, while they were doing, they, they paired up in the teams and they were you know, doing the procedure there on the cadaver hearts, they were so excited that I was there because I'm three weeks out from uh, this surgery. And so that they, I could tell it gave them a chance to show what they did and their expertise to somebody that, you know, could be coming in concerned because this is going to be happening to me. And, and they were fantastic people. Uh, as I walked around and watched what they were doing, they would quickly just stop everything, ask me if I have questions. They would show me the way that, you know, they, they fit the valve, how they chose the sizing, and then when they were putting in the sutures, how that worked out and, and the different processes they used uh, to, to seal the order back up. Again, it was, uh, it was very cool um, to see and be part of. I also, um, from that, uh, got my hands on one of the valves. So this is, uh, I'm just going to get focus on my phone here, but this is an onyx aortic valve. Now this is a pretty small one, I think it's a 21 millimeter. Um, but it's just, I've had this for a couple weeks now actually, and every time I look at it, it's, it's pretty remarkable to see the engineering in it and just how simple it is. Um, but again, so I have one of these and it's great for show and tell because I, I like to show people what's going on <laughs> and, and what's happening. So, so again, watching these actually be put into hearts, uh, there at their facility was amazing, um, but but very cool. Uh, you know, they gave me lots of uh, information. Basically, anything I asked for. Again, this is just a patient information. I'm sure any uh, surgeon's office would have this, um, but other things uh, as well. Just because they, I, I could tell they genuinely all cared. The one I dealt with uh, cared about what was going on. So, again, very cool experience. And so that was three weeks out, and then. This last week, again, just getting more and more things uh, in place. Uh, small things like my, uh, you know, for recovery wise, uh, my parents wanted me to have a recliner that was powered, so that way I didn't have to, you know, if I wanted, if I needed to recover in the recliner, I didn't have to pull a handle. And so I went and picked one of those up this past week, and just little things like getting the house ready. I was talking to my wife, and she's like, it's almost like nesting before a, a child. So that's been happening, getting things in order. Um, and, you know, I think the biggest thing I've kind of taken away from this is, uh, you know, having this three months, give or take, before the surgery to like look out and look forward has been good in many ways because I can get things in order. Um, but it's also been added to the stress because there's like a deadline to everything. And that's how it's one of the things we've been dealing with as we we approach the date is everything feels like it has a deadline so it's adding a bit of stress to something that that is already stressful again even from very first i feel very confident in what's going on how the surgery is going to go but just adding into the stress of what's happening uh day by day and all the little decisions we have to make to get ready uh, and that even comes down to planning out um I guess you would say support group and family and friends and visiting and the things that we'll anticipate we need uh, for help once the surgery is done and I'm home recovering. And I think, that, again, the difficult part of that is 
it's it's unknown and i think any of us who are going through this process have that unknown piece of it and so just trying to lay things out about you know who day of surgery who's going to be watching our kids who's going to be at the hospital um, and what types of things we'll need afterwards and so a lot of a lot of those decisions are being made and penciled in i guess you can say because things will change obviously and who knows and uh, I am anticipating and hoping for a on the quick side of recovery and everything to go really well because I, I believe in uh, the hospital, the surgeon, the team that's going to be doing the work and, and seeing what goes on behind the scenes. So, But again, thinking about all those things has added just a level of stress that you don't normally have to deal with. Uh, so in, in a way, I almost wish that when I went back on May 1st that the doctor would have said, hey, we're going to do this on Thursday. Uh, and giving me three days to think about it instead of three months. Um, but again, this, this is how time works out, and I, I believe God works all those things together for my good because I've seen lots of different ways, and, and having the ability to even go to the Artivion and meet some of the people involved with that uh, has been great for me and really helped me uh, personally as I'm, I'm going through this process. So again, you know, you can, you can have it fast and get it over with, or you can have this waiting period. Uh, I'm thankful again that, you know, this has been monitored for 20 years and we're ahead of it and I'm not having any severe symptoms and things like that. Um, so at this point though, I'm just, I'm ready to, to get it done. I, I'm, I'm counting down the days, you know, literally, uh, on just to, to have this process kind of behind us and move on to the next step. But things are good. Um, what I would say to anybody that's watching this and going through it that I think that the stress is normal. You know, you need to find people who that you can communicate with, talk to, talk about how you're feeling, um, but also make time for yourself to, uh, you know, do some activities or have quiet moments and, and just sit uh, because there is, this is a major life um, experience. And there are different things that you may go through the grieving process for. And so to take the time and, and know that those are there and know that there, there are outlets out there to, to, to be heard and to talk. And uh, so, you know, just, just know that those things are going to be coming your way. Um, and, you know, be thankful for the, the time that you have to do it. So I think that's really it. This was a, a rambling video maybe one day by the time I get finished with all these videos and you know really through the recovery piece uh, I'll get better at these and they will be more coherent uh, and not just rambling but that's again like a video diary for, for me just somewhere that I can get this out as well so if you watch it thank you um, if you you know have questions or anything I'm always always happy to answer if anybody wants to comment but uh, Again, I'll, I'll be probably making another video next Friday, so a week from today, to talk about all the pre-admission testing and everything that went into that. So we'll see if that happens, and uh, see you on the next video.